if I'm decelerating, it will look for two possibilities. Either when the conveyor speed reaches zero, then it'll move to state stationary, or if the approaching conveyor variable starts exceeding greater than zero, it, zero, it will directly move to accelerating again. Decelerate as an event watches while my conveyor is in state decelerating and it'll keep on deducting one speed unit until either it reaches a stop condition or it's instructed to move to accelerating and start um, accelerating again. Before we start adding the logical blocks, I'm going to just add some space markup. Starting with a portion of people walking to my conveyor. I'm going to call that space approach. I want it to be visible. I will keep it as a dashed line. I will then add another one which will be associated with my conveyor. In this case, I want it to actually look like a conveyor. And I'm going to add a separate line for people to actually bypass the conveyor. And this will occur every time that people arrive at the conveyor and actually see that it is broken down. What they will do is avoid the conveyor and rather walk around as an alternative. So they will not just wait here queuing, they will skip the, um, the conveyor, assuming that the people that are stuck on the conveyor will unfortunately have to wait there. The purpose here is not to have a realistic conveyor, but rather show the variable speed logic. So let's add some logic to our model. I'm going to create individuals at with an inter-arrival rate of 1 divided by 20 seconds. So it will follow an exponential distribution with mean 20 seconds. I will then just add a Q as a buffer and conveyor. The conveyor in this case I'm going to call the approach. It will be defined by a path people will walk at f 5 meters and I'm going to associate that queue with space approach so they will appear on that line walking towards the conveyor as soon as they arrive and get onto that conveyor I want them to actually update my variable that actually says people are approaching the conveyor so I'm going to use my var approaching conveyor and increment it by 1. Using plus plus is the same in Java as saying plus equal to 1 is the same as variable approaching conveyor equals variable approaching conveyor plus 1. So because we add exactly with one unit we can use plus plus. By the time that they arrive at the end of the conveyor, I want them to actually make a choice and in this case it will be selecting an output and I'm going to call this choose route and it will not be just some random probability, it will actually check for a particular condition and the condition that I want to check is whether my conveyor is operational or not. So it will check conveyor 
is in an active state and we've done this earlier state operational and state operational means it will check whether it is in any of the internal states stationary accelerating running or decelerating if it exits on the true side it means my conveyor is operational it should move onto the conveyor but while I'm in this block I want to address an action when it actually exits if the conveyor is not operational it means these people will actually bypass it and we don't really have to keep track of them in terms of approaching the conveyor anymore so we're going to deduct one unit from the variable approaching conveyor because they will simply not do anything they will bypass it <clears throat> but if it is true that the conveyor is operational I want to just add a queue and call that queue conveyor which is just a buffer for me to make sure that these people will get access to the conveyor if it's a little bit full they just have to hang around we'll make space for them on the conveyor just now next we add the conveyor itself which is also defined by a path the speed I will now refer to the variable conveyor speed and I'll update it um, dynamically using an event again just now it is accumulating and the location should be associated with space conveyor in the end I want to add a sync to say I am finished with you but just before I do that as they leave the conveyor I should again deduct these people from my variable approaching conveyor I've already done it for the people who will choose to walk if the conveyor is broken down but those that do choose the conveyor they can only be released um, once they've left the conveyor otherwise the conveyor might start decelerating while they're still on the conveyor and we don't want that so on the false exit for my choose route I'm also going to add I'm going to add a queue called queue walk then add the conveyor called walking this I will also define by a path these people will again walk at 5 meters per second which is probably a little bit fast but that's fine for now they're spacewalking and at the end I will just sync them as well I don't have to deduct them when they leave the conveyor because I've already deducted them when they chose not to get onto the conveyor even though we set the conveyor speed to a variable value that only happens initially if I want to update that dynamically I need to create an event which I'm going to call here update speed I want to cyclically check that first time at time zero and in this case I want to do it very frequently let's say every millisecond and what it should do it should set the conveyor speed to whatever the uh, conveyor speed variable value is there is my method set speed and I'm now going to do a kind of little trick in terms of how I want to specify that it may just so happen I'm just anticipating that something can go wrong somewhere in the simulation model my 
deceleration event will simply deduct one unit, one unit, one unit at a time to make sure that I never run into a problem where the variable value might for some odd reason go below zero I want to actually what we call a, uh, perform a mini max check or a maximum check rather so I want to ensure that it never goes below zero so I want to check and this is a standard Java static class or static methods math dot max always choose the maximum of either zero or whatever the value might be but on the upside I also want to check that this maximum value never exceeds the maximum speed so here I'm going to say math dot min the, the lesser of either my conveyor speed or the parameter maximum conveyor speed and you can stare at that expression for a while just to make sure that you are quite comfortable with what I'm doing there I want to check the maximum of zero or some positive value hopefully should that be negative it should rather choose zero but if the second expression which might be negative which the conveyor speed will then not be set to this negative value but if it is positive it should also never exceed the maximum conveyor speed which is a parameter then it should rather choose the lesser of the two in this case uh, the variable conveyor speed And if all goes well, I save my model and I build it, I should not have any errors at the bottom.